Hello there, and welcome back, everyone. Today on Advanced Apple Music, I'm going to be showing you just a quick, simple trick for being able to quickly group playlists into one section. Um, so what we're going to start off by doing is creating a few playlists that we want to be represented in a certain section of Marvis Pro. Now, I'm in the stock music app right now. Um, this is where you'll need to be in order to create new playlists or edit different things on them. So just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm in the stock music app. And let's say that I'm making a series of playlists for playing board games, as an example. Now, not that I would ever do that because I'm not a huge nerd, but if I were a nerd, let's say that I'm making a new playlist and let's say that it's called Gloomhaven, which is probably the name of some board game. I wouldn't know. Um, so I'll add, I'll create a new playlist up here and we'll title this one Gloomhaven. That's probably how it's spelled. And then I'm going to add, I don't know, we'll just add a few random, random songs to this playlist. Um, this doesn't make any sense at all, but let's say that these are heavily dark fantasy type adventuring songs right here. Um, so we'll click done. So we have a few songs in here. Um, and now most importantly, what I'm going to do is in this description right here, I'm going to add some sort of tag or some sort of phrase that will be unique to this group of playlists. So for this instance, let's do hashtag not Gloomhaven, let's do hashtag board games. Um, and we will click on done. Um, alrighty, so that created that one. Um, let's do another one real quick. So we'll click on new. This one will be Clank Legacy. And obviously I do play board games and I'm super excited about starting this game. So we'll do hashtag board games and we will add a few songs. Let's say that Clank Legacy has kind of a Latin thing going on. We'll add these four songs there. That's going to really amp up the mood for it. Um, so it's got that that same. For me, I'm going to use a hashtag here. I haven't done that historically, but this is how I would do it if I was starting over. Um, so let's click done. We'll do one last new one. Terraforming Mars. Hashtag board games. And then add in some space music. Um, this looks spacey. It's not um eddie vetter out there in space and we'll click done got some music and you could throw in a cool little picture right there and that would definitely make things a little bit better um and then before i click done i just want to point out that if you do create a new playlist from browsing inside of a folder that playlist will be stored inside the folder um, however if you create it outside of the folder like i'm doing right now these playlists are all outside of the folder and you can see that by going down here so they're just like floating in unorganized land which is one of the big frustrations about apple music and inexplicably there's no way to move it inside of a folder even if i had a board games folder up here and i forgot to start these playlists from inside that folder you can't do that until you go back to a Mac. So now if you're not using Apple Music as a way to find your playlist and use them, it's really not a big deal. I mean, you could just have things complete chaos in here and then use Apple or use Marvis to organize everything. Um, but if you are somebody who occasionally uses playlists from Apple Music. So if I go into a playlist folder from here, let's say uh, like my yoga folder right here. And then I'd make a lot of um, yoga mixes and yoga teacher practices. These are like specifically corresponding with different practices I've made. But if I did a new playlist in here and click new and titled it and do, did all that stuff, it would show up in here. Um, so that is just one thing from an organizational standpoint. I mean, if you do have a board games folder um, and you do want some level of organization still in Apple Music and iTunes, which I do, um, just one little tip for you. So then you don't have to go back to your computer to move that. So let's take a look at how we can leverage that hashtag that I put in there, or again, any phrase. I mean, you sometimes I just do two words with no space in between, um, and I can do that as well. But what I'm going to do is head to the bottom. We're going to make a new section. It's going to be library, and this one's going to be playlists. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to head down here to playlists. We're going to edit, and we're going to add a smart rule. And this one's going to be super simple. It's just going to change from title to description and description contains, and we're going to do hashtag board games and we'll click add. Oh, actually, we won't, we'll just click away. And then um, you can see 
that um, these playlists have shown up here. Now, one thing to point out, um, so I could retitle this board games, and then this would have all my board game playlists ready for quick access. Uh, and you could put this inside of a second home that may be part of like a larger playlist home or something like that. So super convenient. If you do have these in folders, though, you do need to um, change the, the rules on here. So there's a show nested playlist right here. You would want to turn that on, and hopefully that doesn't change anything because nothing else has those descriptions. Um, but you need to turn that on if you want it to dig deeper into folders versus just that kind of top screen that I showed you where these have ended up. Um, so just a really fast way to be able to um, quickly group playlists in Marvis as you create them. So this is really helpful if you are um, kind of like me and you occasionally have similar types of playlists that you want. So this could even be like, you know, if you make a number of mood playlists, you could just do hashtag mood in the description and um, then title each one by the different mood and have it displayed all in one easy to access spot right here. So that's all for today. We'll be diving into some more complex stuff next time. I know there's an appetite out there for um, some more in-depth um, rule systems and things like that, but just want to take a breather after putting together eight videos to do a quick one. Uh, but feel free to let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like to have some help on. Definitely happy to make a video or uh, point you in the right direction.